Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. This is the Easy Rig and it's not a stabilizer at all. But in this video, I'm gonna show you what it is and how to use it and in which scenarios you shouldn't really use it. Let's go. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Paul, I'm a German filmmaker and this channel is all about filmmaking, gear reviews, but also DaVinci Resolve tutorials. So if that's something that you're interested in, consider subscribe, I would really appreciate that. So let's directly start. Um, in the first section of this video, I want to show you um, how to put on this easy rig because it's not as easy as it sounds <laughs> and in the second video I'm gonna show you uh, what kinds of shots you can do with it what's the purpose of it and in which for what shots it isn't really um, yeah, designed for basically the easy rig comes basically with um, a carrying case which is really nice you can fold it and put it into the case and you can also use it as a backpack which is really really handy um, when you want to put it on, it's really important that you hold um, the pulley here with one hand and with the other you just put it on. Then it's really important that you pull all the straps on the hip and also on the shoulders really, really tight. That's really important. And then I just demonstrated for you um, when you need to have a top handle because that's the only way you can attach the easy rig to your camera basically Other, otherwise it won't really work so what you simply just do you pull the so-called pull here <laughs> and then you yeah open it like so and then you can see it right clamps here to the top handle and then i pull it tight and yeah what you see right now is i can move it up i can also move it down and it's not going anywhere, which is really, really handy. Okay, so first things first, you want uh, to have your Easy Rig properly adjusted. And the way to notice that is when your camera doesn't move up or down and you just can adjust the, yeah, the tightness of the strap here by using the knob on the back. Um, so therefore you can adjust it according to the weight of your camera. Then you have four more knobs to adjust the height of the pull. Um, that's basically that depends on your, on your body. And then you have one more knob which is right up here. And there you can adjust um, how far or close you want the camera have to your face. And that's basically all it is to it. Uh, now I'm gonna show you what kinds of shots you can get with it. By the way, I almost forgot it. There's also um, the Easy Rig Vario 5, and that's the Easy Rig Minimax, what, I, what I'm using right here. Um, basically, they look the same. The only difference is the payload. That, that one here is designed for cameras uh, with a yeah, maximum payload of seven kilos, whereas the Vario 5 can carry camera systems up to 25 kilos, which is crazy. I think you can really uh, get a really nice handheld look out of this easy rig because you can adjust the height really, really quickly and you can get uh, different angles in a matter of seconds. So I use it all day long when I have like documentary shootings or run and gun shootings. And when you're doing a lot of interviews because you can um, yeah, adjust the camera really quickly without even noticing it and you can even film an interview like that for five minutes and you don't notice the shake. Speaking of shape, shake, it's not a stabilizer, it's also not a gimbal because if you want to do a classic gimbal shot, let's say a tracking shot, so now we're gonna move a few steps forward and you can see uh, that the camera is basically bouncing all around because um, yeah, the movement of my hip is going to be transferred to my camera so that's what the easy rig is not designed for so keep that in mind but what you can do you can do a lot of pans with it because like pan to left or to the right or you can push in and push out and you get really really smooth results i also going to show you show you here um, the clips that i've got with the easy rig and I personally really like it. You can also shoot like sideways, like that way, which is really handy. And yeah, 
I think the Easy Rig is really, yeah, so a really nice build quality. It is on the pricey side though, because it's like, um, yeah, I can speak only in euros because here I'm in Germany, it costs like uh, 1,200 euros, which I think is around 1,300 US dollars. Please check that in the um, description below because I'm not sure about that. Um, and you have also knockoff brands like Flycam or something like that, which cost you half of that. But I'm not sure if I would really use that because at the end of the day, you're pulling all or you're putting all of that, you know, maybe 10,000K, 10K, 20K uh, rig on this little strap here. And uh, I rather have a premium product than something that is, yeah, gets broken or whatever. So therefore I'm really happy with the easy rig. If you have any further questions, just drop them in the comments below. I will answer them as soon as I can. And yeah, I hope I'm gonna see you in my very next videos. Cheers.